This week, I'm going to design a Batman clock inspired by the art of Greg Capilla in the graphic novel Batman Graveyard Shift. So let's get started. To build this Batman inspired clock, you will need these items. I start off by tracing the wooden canvas on my paper. Then I draw out the design using Greg Capullo's original art as inspiration. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's my artistic interpretation of his art. So some of my cityscape is random. I don't want the wooden frame on the back of the canvas to interfere with the mounting of the clock motor. So I sketch this out. Then I sketch out the logo that I will design in Tinkercad and print on a 3D printer. The design of my clock face will use small bats as the numbers. They will be designed on Tinkercad and printed on a 3D printer. So the design's complete. Now to start building. Fine sandpaper smooths the surface. Graphite paper is used to transfer the image onto the wooden canvas. A red pin shows where you already marked. I use a skew tip on my wood burning pin to mark out the design. A writing tip is used to make dots to fill in the design. Make sure you have good ventilation because there's a lot of smoke produced. I use the tip of the skew pen to add some haze to the cityscape. I use the same speckling to add the clouds. I found a bat symbol I liked on Thingiverse. I imported that into Tinkercad. I'll put a link below to the bat symbol I used. Then using the built-in letters in Tinkercad, I modified them to make them look like the bat logo I wanted. I also made 12 small bats and numbered those 1 to 12 using the built-in numbers. I download the 3D design and I print it on the 3D printer that's accessible at our local makerspace. Using yellow acrylic paint and brushes, I paint the numbers and the bat logo. It will need a few coats to cover up the black. I use a white acrylic paint and dry brushing techniques to apply highlights to the logo and to the numbers. I then drill a hole to match the diameter of the shaft of the clock motor. I attach the 3D printed parts using wood glue. If this doesn't permanently attach it, I'll try epoxy. Then I insert the motor and the clock hands. Put a battery in and it works. I love how the clock turned out. When everything's dried, I will spray it with a clear coat. In the future, I would like to make a variation of this clock by cutting out the silhouette on a scroll saw and make it more three-dimensional. For more Maker videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And more detailed instructions can be found on my Instructable page and my blog.